Okay guys, it's uh, another Backtrack 5 tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be on Windows 7 Escalation uh, by using a bootable disk Backtrack. Uh, I don't condone this for any kind of malicious activity, blah blah blah, all that kind of good stuff. Everything I do is in a controlled environment. And because I'm not booting Backtrack up and I want to show you guys actually how to do this, um, I'm not going to be able to show you the actual Windows machine. Now, if you want to get into a Windows 7 machine, I know this works on Windows 7, any Windows 7 machine. Um, I'm going to show you the steps in order to, to make everything work. But I know this doesn't work on Windows XP. I'm working on it on how to break into Windows XP a little bit more efficiently besides using these bootable disks that you can, you can get offline. Um, the basics on it is you want to be able to boot backtrack up and manipulate a couple of the files within uh, within the Windows partition. Now, what you need to do first off, we're going to open up a terminal and we're going to type in um, CD for change directory and then media. Let me put a slash there and then we'll get into the, the media directory. LS for a list and you see CD-ROM over here, okay? Well, we don't have any other media that's, that's listed. Now this is some problems that other people were having. All you need to go down to is Dolphin File Manager and we can see different partitions that's on the hard drive itself listed right here. Well, I know this is the system boot and I know this is probably, well, it says 120 gigs right here of uh, memory. So I'll click on that and yep, it looks like the Windows partition. This is my hard drive itself. Uh, users, window, all that kind of stuff, program files, you know this is the Windows partition you want to manipulate. Alright, so all I had to do is click on this and then exit out and we'll do the same thing, ls command, and you see disk and it's highlighted. So we know that we're already mounted to this disk. So all we have to do is change directory within uh, media to disk. So we'll type in change directory to disk. Well, we'll have to add the media in there. Um, slash disk. All right, now we're on the disk. Well, the file system that we need to move to is uh, utilman.exe. Now, utilman.exe is the uh, is the ease of access button that you'll have on your your Windows login screen, and I'll go ahead and show you that what that's going to look like. Now on your login screen, you're going to have this nice little button over here that if you click it, you know, this little lady starts talking to you and you have different stuff that uh, she reads off. That's the whole point of the ease of access. This is an application. Now the unsafe part about this is you can manipulate this act uh, application in order to, to have an escalated command prompt by using backtrack. So all we have to do is go to, uh, press up for the last command that was used. We want to go to Windows. It'll be capital W for Windows 7. And this is any version of Windows 7. All right. And then we want to go up again to bring up the last one, and then System 32, capital S. Now, if yours for some reason, uh, whatever Windows that you're using doesn't uh, switch to the directory, it says no. Let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and change it to a lowercase. Mine, this case, is a, uh, an uppercase S. And it says uh, no such file directory. Well, all you have to do is go through and check the spelling and the, the case sensitivity by going through and actually going into Windows and then finding System32 and all that jazz. But I know that it's going to be a capital S for the System32. Um, so now we're in uh, Windows System32. All we have to do is uh, do a MV, which is a move command, basically like cut paste. Uh, we're going to move uh, capital U till man dot exe to capital U till man dot old. And now you have an old or backup of the U till man dot exe. All right, it was no argument with it, so everything was completed successfully. Now what we want to do is CP, which stands for copy, um, CMD dot exe. And then we're going to move that to capital utilman.exe. Now, basically, what we're doing is we're copying the the command or the escalated command prompt for util or over to utilman, which is going to be your ease of access button. Okay. Enter that in. No arguments. Everything was completed successfully. Now, once you load up Windows, uh, and you get to that 
that screen. I'll go ahead and bring it up again for you. You're not logged in as a user, so there's no no user rights that has to go along with it. So you'll have an automatic system privileges once you open up a command prompt. And this is the fault that Windows 7 has. So you click on this button and a, an escalated command prompt will come up. And if you don't know much about uh, CMD, I'll teach you some of the commands in order to, to get into Windows with uh, uh, administrator rights. Either click on this or Control U will do the trick too for Util Man. Now once you click on that and you get into the command window, uh, a couple of the commands that you're going to want to type are going to be um, let me go ahead and back out of this a little bit. A couple of commands that you're going to want to type is going to be net user, and that's going to bring up a list of all the users on the computer. Well, you can automatically see what user is going to be on the computer. Let's say there's and there's no switch. Like if you press switch user, and this is the only user that that pops up. Well, this is Rafael Rivera is who you want to uh, to, to change. So you're going to go ahead and type in net user. Um, let's say Rivera is the one that you want to change, and then asterisk, and you can change the password for him. Well, the only bad part about that is it completely changes the password. Now you'll you'll be prompted to uh, uh, enter new user password and then confirm new user password. It's going to change his password. He's going to know that somebody was on his computer. I don't recommend that route, but you can do it that way if you want quick access to the computer. Another way that I figured you can do is uh, net user. Let's say uh, we'll put hack, uh, just so you can reference to it, and then slash add. Now if you hit enter for that, that's going to add a user. And to give it administrator rights, you need to type in net local group and then administrator and then hack for the profile that we just created and then slash add. Now that's going to add it to the administ administrator uh, group and allow administrator access once you restart the computer and then go into the hack profile. In order to get rid of it, all you have to do is um, go to net user hack del for delete, and that's going to delete the the hack profile. Once you do that, uh, in order to cover your tracks completely, it, it's best to go through and uh, change some some log files. But we're not going to get into that just yet. Changing log files. Um, all you have to do is click this, load back track back up go back into the commands that I just showed you how to do like we'll go back in uh, let's say we're finished on the computer and we want we've already deleted hack profile now all we have to do is go back and, and mount back up to the uh, hard drive so I'm gonna go ahead and change directory to media we'll do the ls command again it's still mounted so we'll change directory to media disk alright so we're on that and we want to go to Windows System 32 and while in uh, Windows System 32 the only real change that we're going to do need to do in order to convert everything back to what its normal uh, uh, file system was like is MV um, we're going to type MV utilman dot old over to utilman.exe. Now this is the old utilman.exe uh, file. Remember that we, we changed earlier? And that's going to revert everything back to its normal settings. And so you'll be able to use that ease of access button just like you would normally. All you have to do is type enter. There's no arguments, so everything's completed successfully. All right, well that's Windows 7 uh, escalation my way. Um, if you have any kind of issues or, or anything that you want to comment on, just go ahead and, and leave a comment. Um, I appreciate you watching the video. I'm going to be coming out with other videos and applications for Backtrack and show you how to use some, some cool tools inside of it. All right, well, thanks for watching the video, and uh, subscribe, guys. Subscribe.